Functions of the following form can be integrated to give inverse trigonometric identities. An integral of the form 1 over the root a squared minus x squared can be integrated to give a sine inverse x over a plus c, while an integral of the form 1 over x squared plus a to be squared dx can be integrated to give us 1 over a tan inverse x over a plus c. In both cases a is a constant, such as 1, 2 or 3, while x is our variable. Note that the coefficient, i.e. the number multiplying x, must be 1. Otherwise we need to manipulate the expression as we will see in later videos. So consider the example the integral of 4 over the root of 4 minus x to be squared. In this case we can take the 4 outside the integral to give us 4 over the integral of 1 the root 4 minus x to be squared dx. So which integral form do you think we have here? Recall that an integral of the form 1 over the root a squared minus x squared gives us sine inverse x over a plus c. So what do you think our a will be here? So here our value of a is 2 as 2 squared gives us 4. So we can rewrite the integral in the form 4 times the integral 1 over the root 2 to be squared minus x to be squared. So now we will get 4 multiplied by, so when we integrate this we will get sine inverse x over a, so x over 2 plus c. So equals to 4 sine inverse x over 2 plus c. In our next example we have the integral of 1 over x squared plus 16. This could be rewritten in the form of 1 over x squared plus 4 to be squared. So which integral form do you think we have here? So recall that an integral of the form 1 over x squared plus a to be squared can be integrated to give us 1 over a tan inverse x over a plus c. So here what is my value of a? So here our value of a is 4. So when we calculate the integral of 1 over x squared plus 4 to be squared, we simply get 1 over a, so 1 over 4, tan inverse x over a, so x over 4, plus c.